Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Um, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Antonisha Lachey and I primarily make videos about planners, time management, and productivity. Um, so if that is something that you are interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and make sure you hit the bell notification next to it so that you are notified when I post new videos. So if you are not new here, if you watched my last video that I posted, which was my 2019 goals, you will have already gotten like the pre-warnings about all of the kids that I have in my house right now and the fact that I'm wearing the same outfit because I am batch recording a lot of videos today um, because of all the kids in my house. So today's video is going to be about my 2019 quarter one plans and goals. So I did um, an annual planning uh, process video, which I will link below, and then I just did my 2019 goals. So my goals for the entire year. Um, but in that annual planning process video, I talked about the fact that I will be doing um, monthly and weekly plan with me's on my channel um, starting in February. I don't think I'll be doing any in January. But um, I wanted you guys to basically have a behind the scenes look at my planning processes because they have changed. Um, a bit since I've added uh, a lot of business things into it, since I've added the power sheets to my system and things like that. Um, and I also wanted to be able to tell you guys what my plans and what my goals are um, on the annual and the quarterly level so that when I do monthly and weekly plan with me, things make sense and you know like where these projects and tasks are coming from and um, you guys can help me stay on track so you can see I'm not just writing things down and just randomly doing things just to do them or writing too many things down and getting overwhelmed, which is something that I tend to do. I know that pretty much everything that I'm doing as far as projects, as far as tasks, need to be tied back to my goals in some way, shape or form. So for my quarterly planning um, in the power sheets, which is what I use for my goal planning, there is um, there are quarterly like refresh um, pages that the first one starts in spring, uh, right after March, but that's not what I'm going to be focusing on. So that will be something that I will be doing as part of my quarterly process. But for quarter one, there isn't any of that. There's just all the prep work that you do to begin um, to prepare for the new year. So primarily today, we're going to be talking about my quarterly momentum planner. And I have it in um, my Disbound. This is my business planner. I've done a really, really in-depth flip through of this as well. Um, but I am, if you guys follow my channel, you know how much I love the Momentum Planner. So basically what, um, and what I've stated before is my power sheets. These are, um, sorry about the foiling glare. These are, this is my goal setting planner. So this is the, why do I want to do the things and what do I want to do as far as goals? And then my power sheets, I consider these like my project planners. And this is how I'm going to get those goals accomplished. This is where I break things down into the smart, very specific and measurable type objectives and in, in projects. So, um, my yearly goals, I talked about it in my, um, 2019 uh, yearly goals or annual goals video that I just did before this one. Again, I will link it below, but I had seven goals that I came up with in my power sheets and I combined those seven goals into five because the momentum planner only has space for five. And that was easy to do because three out of those seven goals were about me, about taking care of myself, pouring into me, um, both in a self-care way, spiritually, and with my health and wellness. So I combine all of those. So my five yearly goals that are in my quarterly momentum or that are in my momentum planner are take care of me. And there's three different things that go underneath that. Love on my family, improve our finances, cultivate my relationship with Alan and monetize and grow my brand. So the way that I do these, I did the color coding in the power sheets with their stickers and everything. My color coding here is a little different. I just use my mild liners, which is what I use to color code in my planner. These colors are not quite the same as my everyday color coding, but what I did is this made it easy. So as I went from my, my yearly goals to my quarterly, I could see that I had at least one thing for each of these. And it really comes into play when I do my monthly. I need to make sure that I have one monthly objective that goes with each of my goals. So every month I'm doing at least one thing for each of my goals. Some months there may, there may be more. Um, 
So that's what I'm going to go over is what my quarterly objectives are. And then I'm going to tell you how I broke them out, out into the three months of quarter one. Um, my milestones down here, I'm not going to really get into those. Those are just things that um, those are more weekly type goals, um, ideas for weekly projects and weekly tasks that I can work on to help get to my monthly objective, help to get to my quarterly. So those are things that you guys will see as I'm doing like monthly plan with me's and weekly plan with me's, you will see those milestones a little bit more. So my quarterly objectives for quarter one, um, under my take care of me goal is to develop a healthy self care routine. So um, I started this last year. If you follow my channel while I was in my life coaching program, I had a coaching buddy um, in my course. So I was coaching her and she was coaching me and self care was something that I was working on at the time because I was pregnant. I knew I would be having three kids here and all of that stuff. So I started on this last year and I got into a pretty good routine and then of course it all fell apart when I had my baby so now that he's three months old I'm really focusing on routines and things like that because I, I've got a good handle on what our life and what our daily routine looks like now so developing that routine um my quarterly goal for my love on my family goal is to develop new family adventures and traditions so that's um that's a big part of that loving on my family is um, just new family traditions and family routines and family adventures and us doing things together because our life is so crazy and all over the place. The time that we are all together, um, we want to really take advantage of it um, for improve our finances as my yearly goal. My quarterly objective is Financial Peace University. We are going to be taking Dave Ramsey's, Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. Um, we are doing it um, at, in a group class at our church. So that is really helpful. Um, Alan and I actually took a marriage class um, at our church when we first started going there and it was just extremely beneficial. Um, it was based on one of Tim Keller's books and we could have easily done it at home as a couple's devotional like we tend to do sometimes, but it was just really, really beneficial to do it um, with other church members and our church members that we knew and just do it in a group setting for that accountability. So that's what we're doing with the Financial Peace University. Um, and then cultivate my relationship with Alan. Um, we want to do consistent date nights. Um, we have three kids and two of them are under two. So it's, it's definitely hard to get date nights in, um, especially our toddler. It, it's, he's much better now. Grayson is much better now, but for a long time he had really bad, um, separation anxiety and stranger anxiety. So even he would not go to his grandma, he wouldn't go to any of the aunts, anyone. So it was pretty much impossible to leave him with anybody for us to go out on dates or anything like that. Now, as he was getting closer to two, and now that he's two, he's doing a whole lot better. He goes to all his family members. We dropped them off for a couple hours. He spent the night um, at my sister's house with my oldest son when he goes with my nephew. So now that that's there and Ethan's only three months old, so he doesn't know one way or another. So it's um, that's definitely been helpful for, uh, for me to get some time to myself. Like even when Alan's at work, you know, one of my either my sister or my sister-in-law or my mother-in-law will get the boys. Um, so we're going to definitely take advantage of that in order to have date nights. And then um, my last yearly goal is to monetize and grow my brand and my quarterly objective. Um, I didn't want to talk about it yet, but I'll go ahead and put it out there. I'm going to be launching um, a Patreon page in February, and that's actually what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use the Patreon framework as my membership site and my group coaching site. And I will talk more about that. I'm going to have a whole video coming out about that and how that all is going to work. So that's all I'm... Um, speaking on about it right now is that I'm going to be launching a Patreon and that's going to be, it's not just going to be a, you pledge money just to support me. It's actually going to be coaching. It's going to be a group coaching and some individual coaching and some other things in there. So those are my quarterly objectives. So my monthly objectives to go with each of those. So for the month of January for my healthy self-care routine, um, I started the Goodreads challenge. We're already in January. So a lot of these things I've already done. Um, I started the Goodreads Challenge, and if you guys don't know, um, the Goodreads Challenge for 2019 is to read 300 books. I do not know how many of those I'm going to read, but I'm trying really hard. Today is the 5th of January that I'm recording this video, and I already have six books read, and I'm currently reading three books at one time right now. So, And those three will probably all be finished 
since I'm filming all day today, they'll probably be finished tomorrow. So I'll have eight books done in six days. So I'm thinking I'm going to get pretty close if I don't actually hit that goal. Um, and I will be doing another video. Actually, that's another video I'm filming today is going to be my to be read pile. That's part of that goal and holding me accountable to that is I will be doing a TBR um, video, a to be read video every month. So you can you guys can see the books that I'm reading. And my oldest son, um, Christian, he's eight and we are trying to encourage reading a lot more and get him more books that he's interested in reading. So he got a lot of books and graphic novels and stuff like that for Christmas. So he will be doing um, those videos with me as well. I'm I don't think he's doing the one with me today but he'll be doing his own little reading challenge along with me and doing those videos with me so that's going to be really cool and I'm excited about that um for developing our new family adventures and traditions um for January we just decided to do weekly family movie and game nights so we um for Christmas we got a lot of family gifts that me and Alan bought but um on the tag it said it's for the family so we bought a lot of board games card games, um, Jenga, all that stuff. And then we also got a Nintendo Switch um, for the family as a Christmas gift and um, video games. So we have enough controllers for us all to play together. And we've been having a blast doing that. In case I never mentioned, I, we love video games. I love video games. So it's been really cool for us all to be able to play together. Um, and that's a matter of fact, what the boys are out there doing now, they're all playing the Switch. So we have implemented a weekly family movie slash game night. So we decide, um, depending on what day Alan has off during the week, so it's not the same day every week, we decide what we're going to do. Are we going to play video games? Are we going to play board games? Are we going to watch a movie? Um, we pretty much have all the streaming services. We have Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. Um, and then we still have cable right now, which we're getting ready to cut. So we have a lot of entertainment options. So that's been really, really fun. Um, for our Financial Peace University goal, um, the only thing that I want to do in January, because our Financial Peace University class does not start till the end of February, um, I just want to list out all of our expenses. We have a lot of little expenses. So like I said, all the streaming services we have, like our Hulu is 99 cents a month because we caught it on a really good, I think it was a Black Friday sale maybe. Um, so that's like 90, 99 cents a month. And then we have Google One that's $1.99. And then we have other bills that are, you know, larger and things like that. But we just have a lot of little expenses and they get automatically drafted out of the account. So we just need to get on top of our finances and just know exactly what our expenses are, what we're paying out, when they come out of the account or when they're due, if we have to manually pay them. And that'll kind of give us um, a start for when we do start Financial Peace University and we need to start working on our budget. Um, so for the Create Consistent Date Night, um, in January, we just want to do date nights at home. We know that things are quite hectic because of people recovering from the holidays and getting back to normal work schedules. So we knew it would be a little difficult to um, get childcare for us to have dates outside the house. And then Alan is wrapping up a lot of stuff at work. So we've just focused on having date nights at home after the kids go to bed. And that's been really cool. So sometimes we just play video games together. Sometimes we lay in bed together and do a couple's devotional. Um, I think I'm going to do, I've mentioned before that I wanted to do some videos about like my spiritual journey, but I'm definitely going to do some videos like that, especially talking about like some of the devotionals we do and things like that with the Uversion app because we love it. Um, and then for launching Patreon, my monthly objective for January is to launch it. I'm going to launch it at the end of January for it to be ready um, in February. So February 1st is when the membership site and the group coaching will start. So, and then my milestones are me breaking down weekly, what am I gonna do to work on these? So for February, um, my healthy self-care routine goal is to set up my office and craft space because we've decided that we are not moving, we are going to rearrange our bedroom. Um, and then this whole back wall over here is going to be um, a whole wall of my office um, in a craft space. For the new family adventures and routines, um, the monthly goal is for us to go to the aquarium. We have never been to, I don't think we've ever been to the aquarium as a family. I've been to the one in, in South Carolina in Charleston because that's where I was born and raised, but we have three awesome aquariums here in North Carolina and I don't believe we've, we've been to any of them. Um, so we definitely wanna go to the aquarium. Um, for Financial Peace University, it's just to start Financial Peace University because it starts in February. 
for the consistent date night routines um and all of this to say whatever goal i did the the month before unless it's like a one and done goal i want to continue so of course i'll continue my goodreads challenge we'll continue our weekly um family movie and game nights we'll continue our date nights at home and then in february of course we definitely want to do a valentine's ish um date again my husband's a chef so he probably will be working valentine's day feeding everybody else that goes out on valentine's day so we normally don't ever and just for the busyness of restaurants and stuff i i don't do crowds so we don't go out on valentine's day so we're gonna go out either before or after um we both have been talking about doing like a sip and paint because i've gotten alan started drinking wine and um we want to paint some canvases to decorate our apartment so i think that's what we might do and then for um this says launch patreon is my quarterly objective um, maybe I should reword that because my goal for February is actually to post daily on YouTube. And so I hinted at that in my 2019 goals as far as, um, uh, growing and monetizing my brand. I will be posting daily to YouTube. I'm not going to be daily vlogging. I will be weekly vlogging. So one of my days of the week will be a weekly vlog, but, um, I will talk about this more. I will create a whole, I have a whole video that I'm going to make talking about the new direction of the channel and what my posting schedule, like I have my days theme planned out everything. So daily posting on YouTube is going to start. So February is going to be a very big month for me business wise because I'm launching, you know, my membership site and I'm going to be posting daily on YouTube. So for March, my healthy self care routine goal is going to be a women's retreat. Um, we are, we have our women's retreat at church, um, towards the end of March. And I'm really, really excited about it. I'm really excited. I wanted to go last year, but we had kind of just started attending the church and, um, I just didn't quite feel comfortable going and now I'm really excited. A lot of my friends that are in mops with me, um, I, we start mops again next week and this will be my third um, semester in mops. And so a lot of my mops friends are also members of the church. Some of them are not, but the ones that are members of the church, they're all going on the women's retreat. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, for the new family adventures and traditions, we are going to go to the science center we have a science center here in Greensboro, and then we have the Discovery Place in Charlotte, which we went to for CJ's birthday. But I think I want to find one in another, um, maybe go out and see what's in Raleigh, because we haven't been to Raleigh much. So we probably will do that. Um, for Financial Peace University, it's just Financial Peace University. It's a nine, for those of you that, that don't know, um, Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University, it's a nine week course. So, um, and it starts at the end of February. So it's going to be primarily March and April. Um, that That's going to be just the objective for it is Financial Peace University. And then in March, um, for the consistent date night routine, I haven't thought that far out about what our, um, and I don't know if I said it, but basically we want to do a date night at home every week and then at least once a month go out for a date night where the kids stay with someone else. Either they come here or the kids go to their house. Um, so I haven't thought that far out about what our date night in March is going to be. I just put date nights. So I kind of cheated on that one. And then for um, launching Patreon or monetizing and growing my brand for March, um, I kind of hinted at this before. I'll talk more about it when I do that Patreon video. Um, I'm going to offer a pro bono scholarship. So every quarter, um, I'm going to offer a pro bono scholarship to someone who needs or really wants one-on-one -on -one coaching with me um, but they cannot afford my services um, that's another reason why I'm doing the membership site and the group coaching um, the way that I'm doing it on Patreon as opposed to just offering one-on-one -on -one coaching services because not to toot my own horn but for the skills that I have the education that I now have with my um, coaching course that I took and then I'm getting my Myers-Briggs certification in April my one-on-one -on -one coaching packages would not be cheap if that was the only thing that I did and I needed to hit certain income goals every month. So the group coaching program allows me to serve and help a lot more people for a lot less um, financially for them. But I do have a couple spots open for one-on-one -on -one coaching if people really need it and you don't feel comfortable being in a group. Again, I'll talk more about it in the video, but something that I want to do is um, offer pro bono scholarships. I'm going to offer one every quarter. And so that's my goal for March is to get all that ready, put out all the information so that people can start nominating themselves or someone else for that. So I'll talk more about that when I get there. 
So those are my goals for quarter one for January, February, and March. Of course, they are subject to change depending on what happens, but I'm, I'm feeling really good about them, really confident in them. And um, I've already started working towards them and things like that. Like I said, um, you guys will see more of it when I do like weekly plan with me's, monthly plan with me, as you'll see some of the action steps that I'm working on to accomplish those goals. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever about any of my goals, um, be sure to leave them below in the comment section. Check out the description box. I will have anything that I mentioned linked. Um, I always have the Momentum Planner um, links below. I highly recommend that as a tool for goal setting and project planning. Highly recommend the Power Sheets as well. So all that stuff will be linked in the description box. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. If you guys enjoy me sharing my goals, because I'm really enjoying sharing them with you just in this little bit of time that I've shared them. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if that's something that you enjoy. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one.